we're currently on the road to Bakersfield because Lake of Lies Brewing up there just started accepting Bitcoin. And so we're going to a Bakersfield Bitcoin meetup tonight to uh, spend some sats at the brewery up there. And what's awesome about this is that the map just continues to get filled in all over Southern California with uh, businesses accepting Bitcoin. So you got you got Next Burger in uh, LA and Orange County. You got Quantum Brewing down in San Diego. You got Tacos La Estrella out in the Inland Empire. You got Aces Bar up in San Francisco. And then even zooming out a little bit over there there's a classic crust pizza over in a phoenix area and then everbowl uh the um, acai bowl shops are going to put a ton more stores on the map so the uh yeah the map's just filling in with bitcoin meetups all over california and stores that restaurants that are taking bitcoin all over all over california um look and the reason why this is so important is because Bitcoin's better savings technology. We know that. We know that now. Like fiat money, US dollars do not hold their value over time. And the time with which they are holding their dollar or their value is getting shorter and shorter and shorter. And so being able to use Bitcoin direct for goods and services is super, super important. Um, it's honestly good for families. Like it's good for families and it's good for businesses to be able to operate in a way where you can get goods and services direct for Bitcoin and not have to deal with the slippage of uh, dealing with dollars. So that's why we're making the drive and super excited to uh, see see the BTC pay server that they got they got up and running. What's wild is how those kind of signs are up just everywhere, like all kinds of businesses and I, it's like tied to the whole thing of what we're talking about, about businesses being able to charge directly for Bitcoin because like fiat money, like dollars are not doing a great job of like setting prices. Like, it's impossible to know what the price of anything is or like how much the, like your wage per hour at a place like a gas station should even be. Like when the money itself doesn't hold value, what is the point of like working? Like the same way a gas station has a cash price and a credit price, I think the same thing is gonna happen with there being a Bitcoin price and a dollar price because Bitcoin is money and dollars is credit. Yay! We're in Bakersfield! Are you ready to hear about some Bitcoin? Yes? Yes? You're ready to hear some Bitcoin? Hey, hey what's up? Know? All right, Jack, pick right back up the story that you were telling me. Oh, gosh. <laughs> what was the story? I got him into Bitcoin about a year. What was it? The like first, I got, a, I got a, pick, a screenshot of the first message. It was January 5th of last year. And then, uh, you know, it's like that three touching. Uh, my first purchase wasn't until February 18th of last year. So I uh, started working here in beginning of April, about a year ago as well. And we just got working with each other, just started talking all the time about Bitcoin. It's everything Bitcoin. We put the uh, price chart up on the screen and uh, just fell in love with it. Went, went deeper down the rabbit hole. And, uh, you know, thanks to these guys, here we are today. All right, no, I love that. So you guys were talking to me about how, um, yeah, if both of you guys are working like at the at the register, people will see the stickers. The stickers are very prominent here compared to like other other like places that have picked it up. That's what I'm very excited about from the very beginning. So yeah, what have those conversations been like? Um, so uh, most of it's like, well, what's Bitcoin, you yeah. know? And uh, what's funny too is, so we 
have very basic just card swipers. Yeah. We don't even have chip or anything. So people, as long as I've been working here, people come up, oh, you guys take Apple Play or anything like yeah. that. And it's like, no, we ain't got nothing fancy like fun, that. Right? <laughs> However, now we got lightning. And uh, so now we do got something fancy. And um, it's a lot of just, you know, what is it, what is it kind of thing. Right. And um, you just try to drop, you know, little orange pills in with them as much as you can. And you might slow down the line a little bit, but it's a, yeah, it's important for us to get the it message out. So, that matters. That matters. Um, yeah, we just had uh, little conversations. They can go so many different directions, and uh, it's just really fascinating. Um, the big, biggest thing is, you know, uh, people notice price increase. People right. notice inflation. Right. They notice right. when they're, you know, There's no matter where you go, food. yeah. They notice the food prices are higher in general, where yeah. no matter where you go. And there's three locations yeah. for the Bitcoin, yeah. right? Three, okay, just cool. all locations. And this, so. this is the pilot for the Bitcoin, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So awesome. uh, we're, this is a test run, and then Perfect. soon um, uh, probably have some in other locations. So, and you're uh, running BTC Pay Server? Yep, yep. correct. So cool. we, uh, I got the node downloaded here. Yep. Their own uh, node for here. He's, the owner's got one at his home now, too. And uh, going down the lightning rabbit hole now, and that's super fun. And just the possibilities that it could bring is just they're endless. The lightning network, I mean, going to be the future of payment systems. So, dude, well, let's buy beer. All right, let's, let's do go. it. Okay. <laughs> Two to three percent, yeah. you know, it's a lightning eliminates all that and right. eliminates the needs for credit cards and that helps reduce the cost. Small businesses, if you get, you know, a million dollars worth of credit card payments, you know, you add two to three percent fees, that's a lot for a small right. business that can make or break them, right. especially after living during COVID. Yeah. Imagine what that two to three percent could do during the COVID times for right. small business. Right. That's huge. For yeah. sure. Um, so the more that this could be adopted, uh, like just small businesses. So uh, I just worked on like Friday, you know, Saturday. Power back to the people, and that's the beautiful yeah, part of that. Awesome. So, right. But he saw uh, Bitcoin Magazine retweeted that when right. we were doing the payments, and that, I mean, that was huge. Like, yeah. we, we were working, I was working when it happened, and uh, one of my coworkers was like, dude, did you see what happened? And then, like, I just came across multiple people from Bakersfield seeing yeah. that. And we can put this uh, to tell Coinbase this right now. Like, Coinbase needs to adopt Lightning, literally right now. We're at the bar, we're trying to buy beers. Lightning is the network of payments, and that's an issue. Uh, talk like, to Jack and Spiral. Right. Uh, get the they can help. Developing here. They can help. Let's yes. make that happen. Yes. Okay, so that's one for me and one for him. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see. You know what he said. Yeah. Yeah. It's just that easy. Love it. Love it. My name is Jeff Williams. Yep. I am Jack Williams' dad. Perfect. Uh, Jack actually got me into Bitcoin Love through uh, kind of a, a shit coin. Yep. Uh, uh, a Bitcoin mining company. Love it. So we all take our path. We, we all do. We no, really that's do. That's how it happens. So uh, just made some really good money on that. And then uh, put it all in Bitcoin. That's I still good. hold some mining stocks, but most of it is all in Bitcoin. And how long have you been like a brewer or owning the brewery? Uh, we're coming up on this location. We're coming up on 24 years. Amazing. That's amazing. We have three locations in town. We're taking Bitcoin uh, through Lightning at this yep. location. And once we get the, uh, get it under our feet here, we'll end up opening it up to the, our other location. Dude, what I'm so excited about, you guys, is that we're just filling in the map of all of California. So there's just meetups up and down the entire state. And there's there's... So Next Burger in Orange County is a burger burger chain that takes Bitcoin. Uh, Orange County in LA. You've got Quantum Brewing down in San Diego County that takes it. You've got Aces Bar up in San Francisco that takes it. Uh, zooming out a little bit, you've got Tacos La Estrella in the Inland Empire, and you've got Classic Crest Pizza over in Phoenix. And so, like slowly but surely, like the map really is filling in. And if you just saw the news about Everbowl, 
it's like an aside ball chain. Sure. They're going to roll it out to their entire franchise and are working on it right now. And so, no, I'm like very impressed with just the signs everywhere and like really thankful for what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, we're excited too. I think, uh, who was it, Steak and Shake? Or, I saw that just too. Right, they're right. going to do Bitcoin rewards. Yep. And it's yep. one thing on that end of it, if they're offering rewards, yep. whether they take it or not, you yep. want your Bitcoin rewards, right. we have to have a wallet to take correct. it. Correct, correct. I mean, unless they're going to print out a, a QR yep. code or a, or, or a piece of paper, yep. like an a, yep. a open dime, here's your yep. open dime, yep. I doubt that they'll do that. So I think it should be pretty incredible to get that. I think given time, you're going to have more and more take it. For us, uh, between the three locations, we do so much in, we do so much in credit cards. Yeah. Uh, cash is disappearing. Yep. If you look before uh, COVID hit, yep. we were bringing in a decent amount of, of, of cash that we could actually pay out our servers, right. our bartenders, right. in cash tips. Right. We're to the point where we're running out of that. Uh, now, it's, that's telling you how much credit card right. right. My goal would be to take as much Bitcoin on Lightning payments as possible. Right. I would rather have that next to zero fee versus right. a 3% fee. Right. Not only that, it takes two, three days for credit cards to settle. There's this limbo, you have this middleman in between. We do a lightning payment right now, 10 seconds later, right. I'm paid. Right. We, have, control we have settlement right, right Correct. then. Correct. So that that's our goal, is to get to the point where we can get all three locations yes. and get to where we're doing instead of four and a half million dollars in credit card sales. Yes. I'd rather do four and a half million dollars and then we'll do, well, yes. I, hey, we can still do $50,000 in credit card sales. Dude, we need so many more people like you. Like you're, um, you're gonna help a lot of small businesses. By like you're, you're like taking the risk of going first, right? Like you're still among the people that are helping go and like lay the groundwork and so they'll be able to say like, oh dude, like they saved us real money on the credit card like payments. Um, tell us about the, so the cans, some of the cans have buy Bitcoin on the bottom of them now. So do you, you can yourself here too? Yeah, yeah, okay. we have a canning line. So we're a full scale brewery, so we brew here. We can uh, yep. probably 15 different products. Amazing. So this should be coming out. It'll be in 16 ounce cans and they'll be in a four pack and they'll roll out uh, to our distributor here in uh, Bakersfield, Kern County area. But they'll also be in the Los Angeles area, so you can look for it. And uh, it is—it's uh, a balanced hazy. It, it's uh, not going to be a complete juice bomb. It's going to have some hot bitterness in there to help balance it out. But it's going to—it's going to represent uh, uh, what you would, what you'd want in a Bitcoin beer. Amazing. How many Bitcoin beers have you had? Exactly. Perfect. And did you and did you learn about Bitcoin when you started working here, or how long? Like, tell us the story from your side. I've been into it since 2017. This summer, uh, I ended a seasonal job, and Shane messaged me same day. He said, "Hey, dude, um, I need workers at Lengthwise. Come on down and apply." And he said they're Bitcoiners, so message their Instagram account and say, "Hey, who you are, what you do, what you know how to do in a restaurant, and that you're a Bitcoiner as well." So I let them know I have serving experience and all that, and I said, hey, by the way, I have Bitcoin. And uh, they replied, their Instagram said, come in and fill out an application, and they finished their message, they said, hodl. So, dude, Bitcoiners are in high supply. Like, yeah, yeah absolutely, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Hard supply. Okay. All right, we're going to get, we're, can you type it up for us? And insurance is going to pay with uh, Cash App now. All right, so last time we played a strike app, right now we're going to try cash out. Huh? Yeah, ride's gonna pay. I don't think we can say ride's paying. I actually don't think we can say that. No. Perfect. Perfect. That one, that side, because they have the they have the little pets. Which leads to say that even the people that are excluded, maybe in China or something like that, so they're, they're a quarter of the population. There's two million people. I've seen Bitcoin playing out in certain places where there's uh, crisis happening around the world, uh, like Ukraine and stuff like that. So uh, for those people who are, you know, asked, like, well, why should people there use it? And so what's your perspective on it? Yeah, I think, like, if you have the ability to put your money into a device, or into a password, and then hide that password. Energy I have a
card blue wall this time. We just strike out and then cash out now. Blue wall. Okay. All right, signing off for Bakersfield.